Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm gonna bring you another power box, power generator, so solar generator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one is a, a smaller one. Actually, it's probably the smallest one I've done, and and that's good because there's a lot of people that can't afford a bigger box. There's a lot of people that don't need a bigger box. There's a lot of people. Uh, I've talked to some elderly ladies that live by themselves. They can't lift a big box or even a medium-sized box. But this is something that they can lift. It's like 7.7 .7 pounds, so very easy for most people to lift. Um, it's only rated. They call it the uh, Rock Pails is the company. And this particular unit is called Rock Power 300. It doesn't actually have 300 watts of power in it. It's only rated for, I think, uh, 280, maybe 281 watt hour battery. Uh, this is a lithium ion battery. Uh, and the inverter is 300 watts constant and it surges up to 5,000 or 500. I wish it surged to 5,000. 500. So you're not going to power a lot with this. Um, they list what you can power. And, and a few of these things are TV. Yes, if you have a small TV, if you have some massive TV, it's going to drain that thing quickly. So I don't think it's really, um, if you're buying this to watch TV in a grid down situation, or if you lose power, uh, there's other better ones out there or get a very small TV because you could start watching the program and burn through this little 280 watt hour battery. Um, and it's probably better for other things. Uh, you can also use it, which I think is important, as a CPAP machine. But check your CPAP. Some CPAP machines take a lot of juice. So if you're buying it for a CPAP, find out exactly if it's going to power yours. But what I think this is ideal for, um, you can carry it with you. You can take it if you're a photographer and you got to keep some of your camera equipment charged. Or if you're into drones, this would be ideal for drones. But really, this is what you're going to use it for. You can buy some lights on Amazon. This has no built-in light. It's very, very efficient. Uh, this is only pulling um, four watts. So you could burn a couple of these at night uh, and barely use any power. Also a small portable, you know, person fan. These things don't pull much. I think four watts on high. So that's really what it's made for. It's made to keep your cell phone charged in an emergency, keep your laptop, your tablet. They do have a 1110 outlet right here. So it's definitely, you can use it, but if you start plugging in, I plugged in a box fan. My box fan was drawing 70 watts. So realistically, in four hours running that box fan, this thing is done. It needs to be recharged. So it's not made for that. I think it's made if you live in an apartment, live in a condo, and you want to keep this thing topped off at 100%, this way you'll have days and days and days of running a fan, some lights, making sure your cell phone so you can communicate with friends and loved ones. Um, or it's designed if you're on the go and you need a little bit of power to do something. If you, if you fly drones and you want to keep your drone running all Saturday when you're flying it, this is something you can take with you and keep it powered um, I've had this unit for about two months they've been wanting me to do a review but I'm not gonna rush a review I'm, I'm not gonna rush hey oh I just got this look it's awesome no I'm make sure things works because I'm not gonna tell you hey this thing works and only had it for a week that does not do you guys a, a service and it doesn't do the company a service either so I can't find anything wrong with it the only thing I don't like about it which is so minor it's not even a concern of mine because this is only uh, 280 uh, hour watt hour battery you cannot what's called pass through is if I hook up a solar panel to this I can't use the 110 outlet I can use all the USB ports and the 12 volt ports um, while I'm charging it so that's a little negative but it's not that much because I'm going to be using the USB ports more because of their efficiency compared to the 110 now I can use the 110 to charge my other other things like my computer um, and maybe batteries for cordless drills and stuff but the pass-through thing is not a big deal it's designed uh, to protect the battery but it's also designed to have a lower price point you could have that feature in there but with this size you're probably not going to use it that much and then the price just keeps jacking up um, they have this on their website I think for 285 
Uh, there's an $80 coupon. I think it's called MC80. So make sure you apply. That's not my coupon. I make zero. I get nothing in return. I got the unit for free, and that's all I get. Um, so make sure you use that. Also, Amazon has it for like 209, 210, so a little bit more, but you don't have to have a coupon. So it has all the features you need to run whatever USB, whatever 12 volt, even has a cigarette lighter um, for light duty use. The display panel is fine, it has an on off button. You can turn the display off to save power. Uh, it will tell you how much battery life you have left uh, in percentage. Um, and it will tell you how much you're using, which I think is important. A lot of the more expensive units will tell you how much power at the current use, how much time you have left. This does not do it, but you can clearly see um, I'm using four watts. I have 99% battery life. I can sort of calculate how much power I got left in this unit. Let's see. The only thing I didn't try is they make their own uh, folding panel. They did not send me a folding panel, but I have multiple other folding panels I tried and I could definitely have no problems charging it. Uh, I think it was at 69 watts uh, just a second ago with the panel on it. It does take some time to recharge this unit. Um, there's many ways to recharge it. You have your standard grid power and you have a cigarette lighter or you can get their solar panel or any other solar panel with the right attachment right here and you can charge it with solar. Typically you're going to be taking about five to seven hours to charge. It depends if you're outside, if you're using the car charger, you're using the AC power. But typically if you don't have anything to charge it with and you're just worried about a couple days you might have a power outage um, and you're just worried about phones and maybe some lights, you could probably go multiple, multiple days if you're very conservative on it and using only what you need to use. I'm trying to think of some more negatives about it. There's really nothing. It's well made. It's worked fine for me. I've had zero problems with it. Only, only thing about it is it's small battery size. But for $205, you can't beat the price to give you some peace of mind uh, to keep your cell phone charged. So if you got any questions on this, I still have four more you guys haven't seen. Um, bigger ones than this. This is the smallest one I've sh showed you really. Um, so if you've got any questions, let me know. And if you're looking for a very small unit to keep cell phones, a fan, and some lights, this might be what you're looking for at the price point of just a little bit above $200. Thanks for watching.